OK, so as promised in the other video we posted today, the one where we show you how to rip a CD in Windows Media Player, we're going to show you now how to import the resulting files into Vinyl Studio. Uh, these can be any files, they don't have to come off a CD. Uh, and the thing that people seem to find most difficult is importing several at once and combining them into a single file to work on. So that's what we're going to do. So here's Vinyl Studio already running, ready to go, and I've got the files I ripped earlier today. So what I'm going to do is navigate to those and import them. So make sure this button is selected, record or import a new album, and then click on import sound files. Now we're in some random directory at the moment, and uh, the files I imported are, I'm sorry, ripped, are in my music folder. So off we go there, and then down there, and here, and here they are. One file per track because they came off a CD. People often seem to have that, and they want to combine them. Now then, click on the first one, hold down the shift key, click on the last one and you see that they're all selected and that really is the key to it. Uh, the rest of this video you probably don't need to watch but anyway we'll do it. So now I say open and Vinyl Studio shows you them here in this list. And If they're in the wrong order you can drag them around but usually that won't be necessary. So now I just need to fill in a few details here. This I've sneakily left on the clipboard. Save you watching my lousy typing. Probably released then. Roundabout. I guess it's pop. I think it's better than that, but never mind. Now down here we have some options. And the one that most people want is this one. Combine imported files into a single recording. Uh, then if you're going to apply the audio cleanup tools, uh, it's a lot easier than if you've got one file for each track. Final Studio can split them all up again at the end when it saves the tracks. Uh, and in order to be able to do that, we have to copy the files into Vinyl Studio's recordings folder. Uh, the other thing that most people will want to do is this one. Insert track breaks between each imported file. You'll see the results of that in a moment. And this usually works out quite well. Derive track names from file names. OK, let's kick it off. And here they come. These are FLAC files, so they have to be decompressed and recompressed during the copy, which takes a bit longer than with most file formats. Uh, but you don't lose any quality doing that because FLAC is lossless. It just compresses the data somewhat. And it's actually a very good format. I'd recommend it for lots of uses if you're, whatever player you're using can deal with it. And most players these days can. So that's it. Files imported successfully. To split the recording into tracks, go to the Split Tracks window. So let's go there, have a look. And the track names are all here. The track times are all here and the track break markers have been put in the right place. If we go to the Clean Up Audio window, it is, as promised, all one big file. So if you wanted to do anything with it, it's easy. That's about it, really. Because we've got the track break markers in, in between the tracks, uh, when we want to save those tracks, we can 
click Save Tracks, select the format we want, and off they go. And then we sort of get back where we started in this particular demo, one file per track, but we've given ourselves the chance to work on them in Vinyl Studio and that's what a lot of people want. That's what they ask us for, that's what they ask us how to do. So I hope this has helped you and thank you for watching.